Hey friends, Alison here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a new Project Life layout to share with you today. It is a 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout and it is hybrid as well. I really focused on using the print and cut function on my Cricut to create each of the journal cards in this layout. I also utilized the write function or the draw function to put the date on my title card and then I actually used it to write a phrase on another journal card. Uh, later on in the layout you'll see that. I thought that I would add some stamping to this layout. I really wanted to try and incorporate my stash into my project life. Um, it's something that I'm thinking I would like to focus on in future layouts as well as using the print and cut function. I'm thinking though I might just try and use the print portion of the print and cut instead of printing and cutting because I don't really want to print on a separate piece of paper, have it cut out and then glue it to my journal card. So I'm going to play with that and see if I can work something out with the Cricut. But there is the title card. I added that stamping with a uh, set that I have in my stash from Close to My Heart. I will link all the products that I used today down in the description box down below if you're interested in checking these products out for yourself. I don't know if that gnome stamp set is still available. If it is, I'll be sure to link it. I know that the ink is still available. I used Close to My Heart ink in Bluebird to stamp that phrase. I'm using black ink to stamp uh, this phrase, which says documented. It's going beneath the sun, which was also printed and cut with my Cricut. This stamp set is still available at Close to My Heart, so I'll be sure to link that down below, as well as the black ink that I used. <clears throat> You'll see that I add some stamping throughout this layout. This journal card is the only one that is slightly different than the rest because I stamped directly onto the photo. I use Jet Black Stays On Ink to do that, but I also use the same Close to My Heart stamp set that I used for the other journal card on this one. I settled on putting that phrase right in the center of the photo. I really wanted to keep the stamping in the lightest spot as possible. I should have maybe put it on the left-hand side of the photo, um, but in the close-ups, you can see the stamp phrase a little bit better. It does show up really well, so it's not very hard to read at all. This journal card has an overlay put over top of it. The pattern paper, it was actually pattern paper, came from Coco Vanilla. I couldn't tell you which collection it is right now, but I had scraps left over. I trimmed it down to three by four inches and saved it to use as a journal card. And putting the overlay on top of it was genius. It looks so good together. I just put them right inside the pocket, didn't worry about adhering them together because it's protected in that pocket, so I'm not worried about it. I pulled out the Bluebird ink again to stamp this phrase on top of this journal card. This stamp set is no longer available at Close to My Heart. It's quite old, um, but I thought it would work really well to add speech bubbles to this journal card. Because there's a large space down at the bottom, I added more stamping with the open images. So it just has the outline that's not filled in. And I did some repeated stamping down at the bottom there. It's actually my favorite journal card of this whole layout, I think. I really really like how that stamping came out. I could have let the stamping, this last one that I'm about to do, hang off the right edge of the layout like I did at the bottom. In hindsight, because I didn't let this stamping hang off the right edge of the layout, I shouldn't have left it, let it hang off the bottom. But it is what it is. I still really like it. I think it's perfect. To close the last speech bubble that I stamped, I'm using, uh, I'm going to use a ruler and black pen for my stash just to fill that in. I could have done that for the middle one that I'd stamped, but I didn't think of it at the time. So hindsight is 2020. But like I said, I still really like it and doesn't take away from that journal card at all. Now on this journal card, there's just a little bit of space left down at the bottom of the right hand side of that journal card. There is a print and cut 
image at the top of this journal card. Those are the oven mitts. And then I used my Cricut to write the phrase cooked with love with the Cricut as well. Down at the bottom in that empty space, I'm filling it in with a stamped heart from one of the stamps that I had pulled out to use today in the same Bluebird ink. And pretty well this layout is winding down. I'm going to add a couple phrase stickers to some of the pockets in the middle of the layout, the um, three by four pockets. I pulled out Ellie Edwards phrase stickers for those. I went through my conservative collection of phrase stickers and pulled out one for this journal card that says observing. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to use it and if I did where I was going to put it on the photo. So you'll see me pull it off the sticker sheet and hold it over. The photo moved around a little bit and then I put it back because I didn't want to commit. I had no idea where to put it. I wasn't sure I liked the idea that idea at the moment so I went over to the last one in that row and found another phrase sticker that says everyday life and put that right in the bottom center of that little photo. That photo, the photos in the center of my layout are printed at, let's see if I can get this right, one and three quarters inches by two and three quarters inches so there's a nice white border that goes around the photos there you can see I added that other phrase sticker um, the one that I had originally was going to do over the photo I thought that it looked the best in sort of the bottom right hand of that photo the other photos that I printed which were all printed at home by the way as was my journaling it was typed on the computer and then printed with my home printer those larger photos are printed at three inches by three and three quarters inches so it's roughly half of the four by six journal card but not quite a little bit more that the photo it takes up a little bit more space the photo does than um half does that make sense it's a little bigger than half is what i'm trying to say um what am i doing here oh i'm just adding some puffy asterisk stickers from ellie studio these are really just the finishing touches that i'm putting on my project life layout for today I think I put three down on this layout all in different colors and when that is complete um, so is this layout I had a lot of fun putting this layout together like I said I really want to try and use the print and cut function more in the future in these layouts as well as the draw function as well it's a lot of fun to play with and I really like the way that it looks in these layouts. Here's my close-ups. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider hanging around. Bye, guys.